I got this big mix model UK. Here with some tips. Um, to try and help you out, save a bit of money. Um, <coughs> home brew thinners. Um, I've been making my own for a while now. Um, purely and simple. Um, you buy a bottle of. Uh, well, I don't want to call companies to me, uh, Vallejo, um, things like that. And it's six, seven pound a bottle. Um, but I can make a hell of a lot more for a fraction of the price. Um, this is my own mix. Works well with Tamiya, Vallejo, AK, Citadel, Ravel. Um, not tried it on my live colours yet. Um, but I shouldn't see it being a problem actually with it working and everything else fine. Now, this is a mixture of um, IPA, water, flow improver and retarder. Um, for a 750ml bottle I'll add 600ml of water, 250ml of IPA, 20 to 25 drops of flow improver, and 20 to 25 drops of retarder and that is it um, I know it might sound a little bit expensive to start off with um, but your flow improver and your retarder the last for they come in big bottles 250ml and you're only using drops droplets um, out of each and I make it up by the litre and decant it into this for easy applying into my airbrush. That's tip number one. Tip number two. Empty Tamiya jars when you finish paint. Give them a good soak, wash them out. This one hasn't been washed very well. Um, and you can use it for mixing your own colours making up a weathering powder, making up a wash um, basically anything I mean you go on the net and you'll buy these empty jars for a ridiculous price when at the end of the day you're paying for this jar when you buy your paint wash it out, take the label off you've got a perfectly good jar to use <coughs> to me are extra thin um, I think mine are 90% of us are using this um, and once um, you've used it a lot of people probably just bit the jars I don't myself um, when they're empty I put in my poly cement it just makes it easier to apply instead of it going all over and I also put in my PVA glue same again, it makes it easier to apply, stops it from going all over. Um, as soon as I've got some more jars empty, then I should be putting in my Microsol and Microset. Um, that way you've got your own brushes and there's less chance of contamination, cross-contamination. Okay, another tip. The film you get between your decals. One side is shiny, one side isn't. I found a use for it, so I'm going to save a few bits of this. Um, if you do a lot of scratch building, uh, like Chris and Alex, um, and I'm going to be starting doing myself, um, this is the perfect stuff for making a template. If you've got just have a look at these. Put it over the top, shiny side down, and it's like tracing paper. Trace it up, cut it out, put it on top of your model, on top of your piece of styrene, scratch around, mark around, and you've got a template. Free, comes with every kit, 99% of the time. Why throw it away when you can use it for something? 
another thing. This stuff. Uh, we got this around some things at Christmas. It's like a thick plastic card. Another one for Chris and Alex. And um, we do a lot of um, vac forming. It's free, mate. Um, most of it comes from the pound shop. Um, for bits and bobs. Um, I used this, I built um, a control tower and used this for the windows and the control tower. So that's another thing. Hold on to it, lads. Uh, I also found these on eBay. Microfine brushes. They're disposable, plastic, and they're great for getting in and doing those little bits of detail work, high little figures, cockpits, dashboards, um, everything where you want to put those dials in. Quick dip, touch, touch, touch. Six pound for a hundred. Um, I don't know whether you can wash them out after, but at that price, you've got to, you know, I think you should be able to clean them out and reuse them. If not, it's not the end of the world for six pounds for a hundred of them. Uh, another little tip spreaders for filler, bits of card. I use. This outside edge of a box. It's got a straight edge, just cut it down, chop it into pieces, and you've got spreaders for filler. Cheap, cheerful, and it works. Uh, anything else I've got on for today? Uh, da -da 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 -da. No, I think that's about all the tips for today. But, yeah, like I say, make your own, save your jaws, free filler spreaders, free plastic for vac forming, or any sort of uh, clear plastic you need. Free tracing paper for making your um, templates. And some great little detail brushes. Well, I hope those tips are helpful to some of you out there. And uh, like I always say, like and subscribe. And uh, I shall see you all on my update, on my next update. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. Ta-da for now. Bye bye.